Hey guys, Alvin McCall here, here watching Better Call Saul Season 6, Episode 12, the penultimate episode of Better Call Saul. I'm so sad the show is ending. I absolutely love this show. It's probably my favourite show ever made. I'm just so in love with this show. I think it's just simply fantastic. And yeah, it really saddens me. It's ending. Um, I'm pretty tired because I'm not going to lie. It's currently 6.20am. I just got back from a nightclub. <laughs> but I realised that like if I wanted to sleep, I'd wake up way too late to watch Better Call Saul. So I have to watch it now. So yeah, it's 6.20am. Um, I'm pretty tired. But... I'm going to give this episode my everything I've got and I'm super as hyped to check it out and see what's in store. So I'm just going to stop talking now and just dive straight into it. Oh, we the people. Okay, this is Saul Goodman office. Oh. Okay. Dissolution of marriage. Okay. This is Vince Gilligan's last episode, right? I think I remember seeing that. I think this is Vince's last episode. Which, if they don't make any more spin-offs, this is Vince's last episode in the Breaking Bad universe, which is a tragedy. Not a tragedy, but it's sad. It's bittersweet. Oh, that's Kim. This is Kim, right? She's black hair. Because this is Kim. In Gene Timeline. Oh my god, I can't believe we're seeing this. This is crazy. Oh, she married someone else. Technically, I don't think this is mayonnaise. But close, right? She's she's speaking differently as well. This is weird. I wonder if we're gonna get her side of the phone call with Gene, maybe. And we'll see what made him so upset. I wonder if this is her like punishing herself, like she's making herself with his life as punishment for what happened with Howard. Hmm. I use almond butter instead of peanut. <laughs> I love that cut right there. Just such a boring life. Pomco sprinkler, watering your world Jean? since nineteen seventy eight. Please hold. Yep. Kim, there's a Victor St. Clair for you on line three. Oh Victor St. Clair, okay. Never mind. Kim? Unless maybe that's what Gene gave his yep, name as. Okay. This is crazy. This is post Breaking Bad Jimmy talking to Kim. I'm still out here. Still getting away with it. Feds couldn't find their own ass with both hands in a proctologist. Oh, uh, he's getting cocky you now. Oh, hey, you're awake. Yeah, this is what annoys him that you she's so just not the. Okay, what should yeah. I say? You should turn yourself in. Oh. Oh, wow. You heard me. God, hearing that from her. Yeah, okay, now I see why he goes back into a Saul Goodman mode after hearing this from her. Living, but it can't be much. Frings in the ground. Mike's in the ground. Lalo's in the ground. Yep, they're all in the ground. He don't have to hold back on my account. Uh, he's, even now, post breaking back, he's still not sure Lalo's dead. Put on your hair shirt. See what it oh, gets. wow. Oh, wow. You... Alaska? She went to Alaska? Jesse? No, but she doesn't know Jesse. And she definitely. Wait, she's in Albuquerque. Holy shit. Oh wait, this is where Mike used to work, right? Right, all the way back at the beginning. Oh, that's Howard's wife. Oh, okay, it's a statement about how Howard actually died. I'm glad she's doing this to clear Howard's name. Nice. This is this is something that I didn't think we'd actually get resolution on, but I'm really glad that we are. This must be crazy to read after all the years as well. It. It all happened in an instant, and he didn't... He didn't suffer. That is true, he did suffer. I mean, he did suffer, actually. For the last months suffer. of his life, yeah. They made... He suffered through the last month of his life because of her Jimmy. and Jimmy. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's breaking. There we go. Yeah, Rhea's really giving an incredible performance. God! <laughs> God, it actually hurts to watch him like this. It's just such a long take. He really is doing an incredible job. This is such a well done sequence. Just that was such a long one scene, one take. Yep, yeah, here we go. Okay, we're coming on with this. I really think this is a mistake. I mean, it definitely is a mistake. That's the reason why they cut it with him going to see Walter at the school. That, that was the mistake that cost Saul Goodman his life, and this could be the mistake that cost Gene Takovic his life. 
this is such a bad idea, Jean. I don't know why you're doing this. Because for all the others, they had the tape on the door, and like, there's no physical evidence of breaking and anything that took place. No physical evidence of a robbery, because they just took the photographs. But he smashed the window, there's physical evidence now. He did it. Okay, he got away with it. I, I did not expect that. What's he doing? Cameras? Maybe? Is that what he's thinking? No, what are you doing? Why are you going upstairs? <gasps> Shit. He's taking a cigar. Too cocky. Way too cocky. He's poured himself a drink. This is unbelievable. Uh, he deserves to get caught. I mean, obviously he deserves to get caught in it, but with, like, with how cocky he's getting here. The watch is... Oh my god, what are you doing? He had the chance to leave, get in the taxi and just go, but no, instead he had to go further. He's gone. Holy shit, he's gone. Shit. Yeah, now you're scared. You absolute moron. I love the way the camera, like the way it's being shot has just changed now. Now he's woken up, we switched to, to a handheld camera that gives it that unsteadiness. It's cops! Oh shit, it's cops. And now he's pulled off so suspiciously. Oh my god, Jeff, what are you doing? Jeff, Jeff, Jeff! Oh my god. What are you doing? Jeff and Jean, both of you, morons. Kim, oh, she's in his office, right? I'm guessing. Yep, oh, this is so weird to see. Kim in Saul Goodman's office. I think you're gonna regret not taking your share of the sandpiper money. Oh, she didn't take. She didn't even take the shirt. Go to Swampland. <sighs> wow, she really did feel guilty over it. Have a nice life, Kim. Oh, so emotionless. It's all an act. It's clearly an act as well. I'm not buying this one second. It does. He actually just doesn't care. It'd be some shit if she bumps into a wall for Jesse. I don't think they're gonna do that though. Unless. Unless. Is that Jesse Pinkman? Hey yo! Hey, bump one of those! It is! Oh my god! Kim Wexler, Kim Wexler is talking to Jesse Pinkman. This is crazy. Kim is talking to Jesse. Oh my god. Whoa. I love this. And you know what? I'm sure people are going to say, oh, that's, this scene is too forced, but why, why is it? It's up with this shit. It makes total sense for them to bump into each other here. You're a lawyer, right? Oh, he knows her? Ah. I recognize you. Oh. You defended my buddy Cabo. Really? Chris oh. Ortega. I mean, I tell... Yo. Emilio. You know, a funny TV commercial is not a sound... Emilio? for like, you know, spleen or whatever. And of course Emilio wants to come oh, here, right? Because he's worked from already no. in season right. five. Emilio is Crazy 8, right? Or is Emilio Crazy 8's friend? The anyway. one who actually dies from the gas. When I knew him, he was. Oh. Okay. I like that. When I knew him, he was. Right, you just walk into the station, you pay a straight cash bail. It's not like Albuquerque at all. How do you know this? Hey, you ask? Yeah, what? She's a bit suspicious now. Imagine if she's Google Saul Goodman. Is she going to? No, is she? Did she watch the Saul Goodman video? That's what I'm thinking. Hi. Oh, hey. Everything okay? That was Saul. Yeah, that was yeah, a Saul Goodman outfit. Yeah, just oh my God. lost track of the time. That's okay. She, he, he hears it. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. It's in colour. His life for Sogman is in colour. Now, 
Listen, what's he gonna do? 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 No, 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 Gene, you're not gonna do this. You're not gonna murder another woman. Just you have to, uh, you know, tire him, tire him. Oh my god, he's actually scaring me right now. I've never been scared of Saul before. She did it. No, Valerie, I'm not okay. There's a criminal standing in my kitchen threatening me. He's a wanted man, and his name is Saul Goodman. Holy shit. All right, Marion, I'm calling There the we leash. go. I'm calling right now. That's where it ends. Are they kidding me? Okay, so first of all, wow, that was incredible. Um, I'm going to keep this really short and brief because I'm starting to get pretty tired. I'm still going to edit this thing and get it uploaded before I can sleep, so I'm not going to talk for too long. But the first thing I just want to quickly say is I saw the credits that em Emilio was in this episode. So then I googled, I was like, so, okay, so obviously Emilio isn't Crazy 8 because I would have recognised Crazy 8. So I googled and, yeah, Emilio's the guy who gets poisoned by Walter. Like, Crazy 8 survives poisoning. Emilio's the one who actually dies and is Jesse's original partner. So that is something that slipped my brain a bit. I know... I know, I remember a lot about Breaking Bad, but I'll be like, season one, I've only seen, I don't know why, for some reason, I've seen the rest of the seasons twice, season four I've seen three times, but season one I've only seen once, and it was a while ago, so stuff from season one I'm a little bit hazy on. So yeah, I didn't quite catch the Emilio connection, so I'm, and I'm guessing we actually saw Emilio, if he's in the episode, he's the guy who doesn't do paperwork, I'm guessing he goes into Saul's office. And it makes sense that he... So at first, when I thought Emilio was Crazy 8, I was like, oh, he wants to use him because he worked with him in Season 5 when Lala sent him. But it still makes sense because Emilio works with Crazy 8, so I'm guessing Crazy 8 could potentially recommend it all. So there's still that connection there. Like I said, I don't want to keep this brief, so I'm just going to speed through things now. Um, seeing Kim in the Gene timeline was absolutely crazy. It was also crazy seeing her in the Saul Goodman timeline, especially seeing her with Jesse. Um, never, ever, 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 ever thought we'd get a scene with with Jesse and Kim. Um, we're not going to get one with Walt and Kim, and to be honest, I don't need one. Jesse and Kim, that was a really cool scene to have. I really enjoyed that scene. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Um, and just seeing her in the Gene timeline, like, finally confess everything that happened with Howard, try to clear Howard's name. I'm re That's something I did not expect to get a resolution at all, but I'm really glad it did. I think that's a really cool thing to have her do as her sort of ending, which I'm guessing... I could see, I could see the, this being her character ending. I don't know if we'll see her in the next episode, which is the finale, which I can't believe it's the finale. I don't want the show to end. Um, but obviously, the biggest thing in my mind right now, which is just crazy watching it happen, I can't believe it, is that that's it. Gene's discovered. Marion called the police. His name is Saul Goodman. Gene, Saul, they've been discovered. Um, he's going to have to go on the run again. I have no idea what he's going to do. I, I don't he's not gonna use the vacuum cleaner again, I don't think. A because that's been done so many times in the past and he's done it himself now. I don't think he's gonna do that again. And B, obviously because unfortunately the actor's no longer with us, so we definitely can't see him. Um yeah, I have no idea. I, does it end in his arrest? Does it end in his death? Does it end in him getting away? I have no idea. But I'm really, 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 really excited to check out the next episode obviously I am but also at the same time I don't want to watch the next episode because once I watch the next episode it's over there's no more and this is my favourite show the thing I always say about Better Call Saul is and it's actually changed now with this season which I'll explain after I say this but the thing I've always said about Better Call Saul is I've always found it just to be for me Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad were always the same quality now with this season and maybe season 5 I think Better Call Saul is actually even higher quality than Breaking Bad but when they were at the same quality for me, Better Call Saul was more impressive simply by the fact it was a prequel, which means it's got all these limitations. We know Jimmy's not going to die. We know Gus isn't going to die. We know Mike's not going to die. We know all these characters aren't going to die. And yet you still feel the tension, and you still feel the stakes, and it's still just such an incredible show, despite being a prequel. The fact it managed to be just as good as the original makes it more impressive in my mind. And now, with these last two seasons, I think the quote is just even better. And I don't want to retroactively hate on Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad's my sex favourite show. I love that show. I just think Better Call Saul is just... The the pinnacle of TV, maybe. I might be getting ahead of myself because I'm very tired, but honestly, it's just one of the most amazing shows ever created. And I'm going to talk more about the show as a whole after watching this week's episode because that's going to be truly over. I still going to keep this brief, and yeah, I just keep finding things to talk about, which is that this is the show. Like, I'm exhausted right now. I've not slept in like 24 hours. I'm so tired. I want to sleep. I, I want to edit this, go to sleep. But I just want to keep talking about this show because it's just so good.
There's two more things I'm just going to mention quickly just for in this video. The first is I thought it was cool that even after all these years in the gym timeline, when he's on the phone to Kim and he says, Fring's in the ground, Mike's in the ground, Lalo's in the ground, allegedly, allegedly. even now he still isn't 100% certain that Lalo's dead. Like, that's the effect Lalo had on him. He still has that fear that he could be out there still because, I mean, he thought Lalo was dead once before and he wasn't. And the last thing Lalo ever said to him was, I'm going to come back. That was the last thing he said to him. And now it's just giving him this fear constantly. And the second thing I just want to mention is I actually was, I found Gene scary. When he's wrapping that, um, the telephone wire around his hands, for a second I thought he was going to strangle her. I don't know, but I really, he was really imposing in that scene. The way they were shooting Bob, it was really well shot because he was, he was just being shot so imposingly. In fact, just the whole episode, like the, it was just shot so well the way they shot it. Like the Kim scenes in Florida, like they just the, the way it was, it cut it be the middle of one thing and just instantly cut to another because it's just meaningless, you know. It doesn't matter, and that's why they just they just cut skip a lot of stuff because they it's all just boring, meaningless, which is what her life in Florida is. And then what I really loved was when he was inside. I can't remember the guy's name, but the guy with cancer who he robbed. When you know it's a it's, it's a steady camera, and then he looks over, and he sees he's awake and gone, and it just automatically switches to a handheld camera, which means that because it's being held by someone, it's got it's got just like a natural sway to it. Which and then when he's, the cameraman's moving, it adds just this the sway in the movement. It just makes you feel uneasy, which is how he's feeling because the guy's awake and he's panicking now. That's everything I've got to say for this episode. It was absolutely fantastic. Another incredible episode, which I'm not surprised by. So yeah, I'm just going to end the video here, edit it, try and get it uploaded quickly. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week for the finale of Better Call Saul.